one of the things uh, the, the media at large has talked about is this Coach Prime effect uh, in terms of uh, what he has brought to HBCUs and this renaissance of athletes of the caliber of you guys coming back to HBCUs. Talk a little bit about uh, what you see in, in terms of uh, these guys coming back and looking at HBCUs. I don't think they have left from looking at us. Mm -hmm. What we needed was a person like Dion. You know, I consider myself as a gold jacket. But Dion got a different type of gold jacket. Dion has opened doors that has not been shut, but need to be open wider for us. Mm -hmm. You know, he's opened it up for these kids. Nowadays, they say, Jackson State. They're not saying Alabama, Mississippi State, all me. They are talking about Jackson State. We did it. You know, I, this was one of the dreams that we walked in myself and Jackie. We all had to come back and do this. But we didn't have the, our career did not take us through that path as a coach. Mm. Dion took this path and it's, you know, I never forget this, people, y'all. Believe me when this guy told me, God sent him here. God sent Robert. God sent him. He sent you here through Jackson. If not, we wouldn't be here. Mm -hmm. We'd be somewhere else. So let's follow his lead, you know, and do what we can for the school and these kids, because these kids need some leadership now. Okay. Larry, same question. What does it look like with this renaissance of players coming back to, to uh, HBCUs? Well, you know, I, I, I love that. Uh, the players coming back to HBCU, uh, everything had turned around. And they had these athletes to come back home, you know, where they, where they belong. You know, because back when we came along, uh, you didn't have what you have today. You know, they, they, you had all your great athletes in HBCU. And a lot of guys were getting drafted back during that time. So what they did to hurt us, you know, they come up with this Prop 48, where you got to have a 2.5 grade point average, you got to have an 18. Mm -hmm. So that hurt a lot of our athletes. And so that forced them into junior college, or they sit out a year and then go to the SEC or go wherever, you know, wherever. But now, what Coach Sanders have done, prime time, he bringing these athletes back and and we need this in HBCU. Definitely. HBCU Definitely. Is, is back. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm all excited about it. And for us to go and get the top athletes that we are getting, it's just like, like the old time, like when Robert came. No you know, if they, if they had the uh, top 300 player back then, he would have been in that. Sure. You know, and so it's the same thing. History just been flipped back. Mm -hmm. and, I'm all excited about it. Yeah, it's the old saying that time, everything turns around and yeah. repeats itself. Mm -hmm. And good things are happening to places that need to happen. Sure thing. This is not us in charge with this. I mean, it's what we are doing, our action, the way we take on things and make these things happen. No doubt. And Coach, Coach Prime is the prime man that's bringing us here. I mean, I live in Mobile, Alabama, people, in a little town called Satsuma. This is Alabama country. Mm -hmm. Those kids have never even thought about asking me what school or I went to. They always thought I went to Alabama. It's a Jackson State flag in my yard. Wow. Yeah. And now they say, oh, you went to Jackson State? Why didn't you tell us? You know, so they're excited. I mean, these are, not, these are white kids, black kids in my neighborhood. They're really proud to hear that I know a deal and I went to a Jackson State. Yeah. So that opened up to a lot of those. Man. No doubt. I tell you what, to the best who have ever done it, wearing Jackson State colors, Robert Brazil, Dr. Doom, Hall of Famer, Larry Collins, 43. Man, appreciate you guys talking about the pregame show. Thank you, man. Thank we you. love this, man. We got to make it work.